Hello, YouTube family. You got your girl Rachel here with Italian Soul Sister. Simply because Italian food and soul food are my two favorite foods. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make steak tortellini. You know, those little round noodles. Anyhow, I'm going to show you how to make it Soul Sister style, where it's packed with flavor and not quite your traditional way of making it. Let's get it. Okay, family, so here we have about uh, three pounds of steak. This is a uh, beef bottom round steak, but it could be any type of steak of your choice. You could even make this recipe with roast. Any kind of beef that you like to eat, go ahead and use that. One thing that I noticed about this is that it says superior marbling for a rich flavor, but I noticed that it doesn't seem to have much marbling or fat in it. So that means we're going to take an extra step to tenderize this, folks. Stay tuned. And we're going to use this um, Bertoli um, tortellini. It's got chicken and it's stuffed with garlic already and cheese. We're going to use that as our noodle source. So I'm getting ready to wash this meat up and cut it folks. Okay, YouTube family, now I have the meat all cut up and ready to go flash. I'm going to flash sear it in this pan. If you notice, the meat is cut kind of thick because I like my steak well done. And once it's well done, it shrinks up significantly. So you want to cut the steak a little bit bigger than um a little bit bigger than the size you want it to be because it is going to shrink up, especially if you like it well done. I'm going to go ahead and throw the meat in. I'm going to season all this as I go while it's in the pan here because all of it is going to be together. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of seasoning over the top of it now. This is a little Memphis barbecue seasoning I'm using. I'm just using that for the smoke. If you watch me before, you know I put smoked paprika in everything, except for when I use this particular seasoning, I don't because it's already got smoke in it. my hands really quickly and like I said this is just a flash sear while this pan is continuing to sear this up I'm gonna put some steakhouse seasoning in it oh sorry did y'all get that and I use this is because it's got rosemary thyme uh, red pepper garlic all the things that make the steak taste delicious Cayenne pepper. I pretty much use that on everything too. McCormick hot shot because I like layers. I don't like too much heat in my food, but I do like layers of subtle heat. So I do use different sources because black pepper hits the tongue in a different spot than red pepper. And a little bit of garlic powder. Not too much because our tortellini is already stuffed with garlic. Okay, I'm going to flip it over some, flip it over a little bit, get it going on the other side. And believe it or not, we almost done searing this. This is just staying on the stove to sear a good three, two to three minutes, not too long. Because it's just, I'm only searing in the flavor. I'm not cooking the meat here. All right, folks. Now that I got the meat all good and seared on both sides, now I'm going to go ahead and finish this meat up in my Instant Pot. You know how I do it. Make sure that this meat is good and tender. Because it, does, it looks like very lean beef to me. And so, I don't worry about that because everything is tender when you put it in the Instant Pot. It's instant goodness, all right. 
You add one cup of water just to coat the bottom of the pan. And you're going to put the top on. Just like that. There's a meat setting where it says meat slash stew here. Let me bring it a little closer here so you can see what I see. Meat slash stew, that's the button you're going to push. It's going to turn itself on 30 minutes and this will turn itself on. I got to check my, my steam nozzle here to make sure I have it in the off position because the meat won't be as tender if you have the steam released from it while it's cooking because that's part of the pressure in the pot is what makes it a pressure cooker, right? Sorry. Sorry. Okay, my bad. Okay, I'll be right back, folks, as soon as this is done, and I'll show you how we're going to make our sauce and prepare our noodles. Okay, YouTube family, while our meat is still cooking and still has 18 minutes on here, you may be wondering, what you going to do about a vegetable for this meal? Because it is in an Alfredo sauce, which is rich. So we're going to do some asparagus. I've lined the bottom of my air fryer basket with aluminum foil. I cut up and washed off some asparagus. I put three tablespoons of olive oil and I used the same seasonings that I used for my uh, steak. I used the Memphis barbecue seasoning, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, and the hot shot. I did not put the steak seasoning. I omitted that one. Throw it in your, throw it in the air fryer. Turn it on, go up to 400 degrees, and put that on eight minutes. And in eight minutes, you'll have tender, delicious asparagus. No water or anything is required in that because asparagus has its own juices already inside. Okay, YouTube family, now it's time to deal with the salt while those other things are cooking. I have put some of the same seasonings that I put into the steak in this sauce. I used Prego Homestyle Alfredo sauce. Could buy it anywhere. I have a cup of milk in there just to get all the sauce from around the edges, right? So I don't want to waste any of that. I got my seasonings in here. And I have two tablespoons of olive oil. Now, I know I said that I used the same seasonings that I did in the steak. Do realize that the steakhouse seasoning, this, and the Memphis barbecue seasoning both contain sodium. So I use these things very sparingly here because I've already seasoned the meat. And one thing that we don't want to get into our diet is too much salt. My first job out of nursing school was as a cardiac nurse, and we don't want to go too hard on that sodium potassium pump, so we want to keep the salt down in everything that we do. I'm going to add four tablespoons, four teaspoons, I'm sorry, of butter. And that's it for our sauce. As our sauce reduces, then I'm going to add a little cheese. Now, one thing people may not know about dealing with refrigerated pasta is that these are quite similar to fresh pasta. So when I have a pasta like this, I never boil it. What I do is I cook it right here in the sauce. And that's how I do that. We're going to go ahead and open this up. Normally, salt, normally, pasta takes eight to nine minutes to make it al dente. However, this fresh pasta that's refrigerated pasta is already soft, as you can see. So it does not need the full eight to nine minutes. This is actually done more like five to six minutes. It does not require a long cooking period. And I'm going to use it all. That's why I added the extra milk also to the Alfredo sauce. Because I knew I had a whole lot of pasta to cover in there. Right? 
Now here's my favorite part for every, every single Italian dish that I ever make, the pepperoni. It's time for the pepperoni. It's time for the pepperoni. It's time for the pepperoni. Uh oh. Uh oh. Work it, work it. Uh oh. I'm showing my age now. <laughs> Guys, you see I've cut up three mini peppers here. And I'm going to go ahead and throw them in my sauce. You can admit, omit this part if you don't really like peppers. I just don't like to eat steak without peppers is all. So I did um, chop up my mini peppers. Plus, I like for everything that I make in this kitchen to be colorful. Okay, YouTube family, now we've gotten the steak out of the Instant Pot. And as usual, it is baby tender. Look at that. You ain't even got to put, you don't need no steak knife for this steak. Mm-hmm. Because it is tender as can be. Now we're getting ready to drop it into our sauce. Mm-mm-mm. You can't go wrong with that Instant Pot. It doesn't matter how much marbling meat has or not. It doesn't matter what it is. How lean it is or whatever. It's going to be tender out that pot. Can't go wrong with it. Each and every time. We're going to go ahead and toss our steak in there. And we're going to fold it in these noodles. Because we don't, never want to handle our noodles too roughly, right? You're going to cause the little... If you stir it instead of folding it in, you'll cause the little circle tortellinis to come apart. And we don't want that. We want our tortellinis to stay tortellinis, right? I'm go ahead and fold that right on in. Mm-hmm. We're going to let it cook for a minute here like this in this sauce. We're going to let all that cook a minute. I'm going to add some cheese on top and put an upside down plate on that. This plate here. Turn that fire down. Let it go down to more of a simmer because at this point, we just getting that sauce around that, that meat. And we're melting the cheese. Put the plate on it upside down and I'll show you the finished result. Two minutes. Okay, YouTube family, I do believe and declare it's been two minutes that this uh, pasta is ready. Ooh, look at that. The cheese is nice and melty. The pasta is ready. Look at the big pieces of steak sticking out there. I traded out my spoon for one that would hold on to more sauce. We gone. Ooh. Put some on this here plate of mine. So we can get down to the nitty gritty. Woo. Because that's how we do it. On the Italian soul sister. That's the way we get into it. Let's taste it. Okay, YouTube family. Now we have the finished result. Let's get a good look at this here plate. We have the pasta here, the steak tortellini. We have the asparagus here that cooked up in the air fryer to perfection. That's how you know if, if, if asparagus is cooked right because when you go to eat it, it shouldn't flip over, like limp over. It should be soft so it has some give to it. But if it's limp, then you overcooked it, okay? But in the air fryer, it's almost impossible because you just put it on eight minutes. It's easy. It's a one-shot deal. Let's get into this pasta.
Amen. I forgot to say my grace off camera, y'all. Look at that. Look at that cheese pulling all the way around there. Mm. And the steak is so tender. It's falling apart. Mm, 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 mm. You got to make this. Guys, if you have not made this before, you have got to make this. It is simply delicious. Mm, I wish I had smell of vision and taste of vision so you could get some of that because you got to get into it, folks. It's delicious. Mm, 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 mm. So darn good. Well, that's my time. I'm going to go ahead and um, put the smash on this. Until next time, stay safe and God bless.